Sports is here at the Frank Parati Junior Arena where the Quinnipiac Bobcats just defeated the Dartmouth Big Green with a final score 5 to 1. I'm Emma Carmen, joined alongside Paige Meyer and beat reporter MJ Baird. So MJ, it was a lot of back and forth action in the first period and then the Bobcats got a little spark under their skate. What was the biggest difference you noticed from the first and the last two periods? Yeah, Emma, really in the second period, if you looked up, uh, Quinnipiac had seven shots in the first period. And then if you looked up halfway through the second period, they still had seven shots on that. So they didn't record a shot in that middle frame until well through, uh, halfway through the period. So then things kind of changed. Quinnipiac went on the power play. Chase Brisky netted a power play goal, and that kind of got the Bobcats rolling in the right direction. Peter Deliberatore also scored on the power play. That's two power play goals in the same period. Quinnipiac ended the second period with four shots on net three of which went in the back of the net, three goals on four shots, that's pretty good. Now MJ, speaking of power play, Quinnipiac went three for four. Now what is the secret for their success? Well, the easy answer to this one, Paige, would be Chase Prisky. I mean, he has mm -hmm. eight power play goals, uh, tied for the lead in the nation for, for power play goals with eight. He also has 13 on the season. Um, so the thing that is kind of the X factor here, when you play an opponent, they're obviously have, they have a scouting report and they see what Quinnipiac does on the power play. And while everyone tries to shut down Chase Prisky, that opens up lanes for other players. We talked to Alex Whalen after the game. He said he kind of feels it opens up both of their power play units because opponents are so focused on stopping Chase Prisky, it leaves other players like Odin Tufto, who has four power play goals on the season, open, and that's why they've been so successful. So MJ, Quinnipiac takes on Harvard tomorrow. What are their expectations and what do you think is going to happen tomorrow night's game? Well, my first expectation, uh, Emma, would be that Andrew Shortridge gets the start again in that he has been the Saturday night starter for this team all year long, but he did start tonight, the Friday game. Keith Petrozelli struggled last weekend, so Pecknell went with Shortridge tonight. He had one goal against. I do expect him to go tomorrow. Also, I expect Quinnipiac to pick up two points. Harvard's below Quinnipiac in the standings. Right now, Quinnipiac has 15 league points at the top of the table, so I expect it to be another two point in a weekend sweep. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Good night, Quinnipiac.